One easy way to remember five of the signs of cancer in teenagers and young adults is the word lumps. L-U-M-P-S. L stands for lumps, bumps or swellings, and that could be anywhere in the body. But the important thing is that it's unexplained and persistent. So it's not because you've been playing hockey, get hit with a ball, go home and find a lump and think, oh no, that hockey ball just gave me cancer. That's not how it works. U stands for unexplained tiredness. How many of you, when you woke up this morning, couldn't be bothered getting out of bed? Don't worry, that's not the kind of tiredness we're talking about. It's an ongoing feeling of total fatigue that even a good night's sleep doesn't help. M is for mole changes, and that could be a change in the size, shape, colour or texture of a mole. Please, if you have any moles, know where they are and protect them by wearing a high factor sun cream or covering them with clothing. If your mole is on your butt, we recommend clothing. If it's on your face, then we recommend sun cream. P is for pain, and not just any kind of pain, so please don't think you're going to get cancer from walking face first into a door. It's a persistent pain, an extreme pain, and sometimes even a pain that doesn't go away when you take painkillers. S is for significant weight change, and that could be weight loss or weight gain, but you've not changed your diet, how much exercise you're doing, or any medication that you might be on. If you notice any of these signs or any other changes, then the chances are it's nothing to do with cancer. But if it's unexplained, persistent or extreme, then it's worth seeing a doctor.